Is there anything I can do for you, Commander? Oh, you just keep playing for songs. Something amusing. Uh, the rat with two tails, probably. He just wants me to keep playing songs. Oh, it's like a test. How well do you know your own songs? Because if you play the wrong one, maybe he won't be happy. The rat with two tails. An Imperial Galleon set course for Jacord with Queen Ariane of the Badgers aboard. When two days from port in a terrible storm, its mast broke in half and the mizzen was torn. But the vessel was saved by the rat with two tails. Who stopped them from running aground on the shales by hoisting her majesty's knickers for sale? Oh, the rat with two tails, the rat with two tails. He saved Ariane from those terrible gales. He may not be a badger, but he's certainly male, and she'd not know true love to the rat with two tails. Great choice of song, Scow. You came in late on the second verse. <laughs> Otherwise, that was certainly an interesting performance. <laughs> I, I figured it was probably a funny song just because it's the rat with two tails, and then, yeah, they save, they save the ship by hanging underwear. So I was right. So I think I think I've unlocked the ability to play whatever to whatever songs, but it, it's a bit of a test, I think. Where you want to choose the right one? I should get on, sir, with your permission. Of course, of course. Oh, Scow? You know my door is always open to you. Metaphor metaphorically speaking, of course. The garrison's stretched rather thin at the moment, personnel-wise. I can't guarantee I'll always be here in my office. Afternoons, you'll find me down in the harbor master's office. We'll all have to, m to muck in where we can. The harbor master's office, sir? Ah, you've not ventured down to the harbor yet. I believe the west gate is closed at the moment, sir. Of course, the spiders. Well, we'll have to make sure we get your grand tour at some point. Come on, carry on. I wonder if that actually affects any kind of reputation or anything. Or if anything's going on when you do that. But hey. He approved of both songs. And he's criticizing the singing. That one threw me for a loop. I, it seems like there was twice as many lyrics coming up on the screen as there were, like, chunks of music being played. I'd have to replay that one again to look at it again to see how the hell that's gonna come together. Or how you would match the two. It's hard not to see it as a dare whenever these games have songs that aren't, uh, voiced. But they're set to a tune and everything. Morning. All's well? I suppose. Anything to report? The jailer's turned up dead. Tossed down the well. Better end than he deserved. What does that mean? Anything to report? Best go on. So you can get updates on them, but they're all like a hive mind where they all say the same things. How do I gain their trust then? If I can't interact with them really? I might suspect that the one upstairs that I can talk to is a special, unique one. Hey, Sticks. He might be a special, unique one upstairs, and that... might... Hmm. That's probably the case. I mean, he, I, mean I know he's a special, unique one because you can talk to him at all, but I mean, like, he might specifically have... He might be the traitor because of the fact that he's actually a person that has unique dialogue and everything. Hanky. Click. I went the wrong way though, didn't I? Or actually, I don't know where I'm going. Mostly just incredibly time consuming to run around like that. Alright. Oh, but we have a way of fixing that, though. Or I'll remember that. Ah. No? Wait, I'm trying to go to... The guy that's eating at the kitchen. And the kitchen is... Here's the kitchen, okay. Is he actually gonna follow me all the way here? 
Nope. Ah, hello, yes. Yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Don't mind me. How goes it, Private? Scow. Private Scow. Scow. Just transferred here from, in, from Yuva. Yep. Well, you're here now. You're not eating? Aye. You didn't hear? The commander's order that somebody be on duty here during mealtimes. On duty? Why is that? Two of the guards ended up in the infirmary last night. The food's that bad. Don't let the cook hear you say that. It was... It was her put them there. Caught them complaining about her stew. Aye. Carousing, fighting, gambling, theft. It all goes in uh, It all goes on in here. Anything to report? Ah, uh, you missed a food fight here earlier. Private Eingar was stabbed with a fresh carrot. <laughs> um, anything to report? All's quiet. What's your name, friend? Monarch Brig. I'd best get on. Alright, but remember, any trouble and you'll be spending a night in the cells. Boink! I got a footlock key. So you're one of the people that, that works there. Boy, we have had a history of conflict with each other. So whenever they're named, then they're an, a unique NPC. Which is like, it'll be it'll call him some kind of special guard, and then I can talk to him. And then maybe I can learn their name, which this one's Monarch Brig. And there was unique dialogue with the, uh, the commander's guard. I'm allowed to be here. Is that a chamber pot? What the f- why is it here? I can't climb that. Why is there a chamber pot in the kitchen? Seems like a bad choice. I'm not, used to, I'm not used to being able to look around so freely around here. You know, let's let's talk from a, across the table. Hello? Oh. He's just called Gambler. Huh. What brings you to my table, Buck? I was just wondering what game you're playing. Oh, then perhaps I can give you a demonstration. What's your name, Buck? Beller Lar. Alright. Lar. Beller Lar. What are we playing? The game's Hilo 7. Bets of b between 2 and 5 florins accepted. And you need at least 5 florins to play. Are you in? Remind me of the rules. All right, we roll a fair, a fair dice two times. The outcome is high if the sum is 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. Low if the sum is 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And 7 if the, if the sum is 7. Before the first roll, you get to call one of those three outcomes. Payout for winning bet of high or low is twice the amount wagered, and four times the winning bet of 7. Interesting. I guess it would work out that way, yeah. If you roll two dice, the most likely result is seven. But that doesn't mean that the majority of results will be seven. The majority of results will specifically not be seven. It's just the one number you're most likely to get the most times is seven. But that's seven versus the entire spread of one through six or eight through twelve. Hmm. Are you in? I'll bet two florins. Good, let's play. Now before you roll, choose. Do you think the sum of the two rows, two throws will be high, low, or seven? Seven, go for it. You're certain? Aye. All right, take your first throw. Four, needs to be three next. Now roll again. Shit. Two throws of the dice. For a total of six. Oh, I'm sorry, Buck. You lose. That's it. You cleaned me out for the day. What? Wait, cleaned you out for the day? I... You won. What does that mean? Another time, Buck. I think it's time I was going. That was weird. He has a... Huh, so all this time he was just a... 
Alright, so it's good to know they're not all just a hive mind and copies of each other. I'm finding exceptions now and named characters. His reaction was wrong, it seemed. I lost, and he said I lost, but his face was like a scowling, like, oh, like he was the one that lost. And then he said that I cleaned him out, which is not the case. Does he have a key on him? No. I suspect he's stuck here forever and never gets up, because he doesn't even chase me when I run around the arena in combat mode and aggro the other guy and everything. I don't just stand there, my love. Come in. What are you cooking, Uma? I've got a pie in the oven. Will you try some? Just a little, Uma, if I may. It's cooling right now, but remind me to give you a taste before you go. Well, then it's best I go. Wait, mouse here. The pie. Reinvigorated. It's slightly weird that half her dialogue is about how the, how we're going to do the, the exchange of food at the end of the conversation. And then all I can do is leave the conversation, then causing her to give me the food. It's like the implied time scale of like, oh yes, we have to wait for it to finish cooking is like all strange and redundant actually. What is that? Oh, that's a frog leg. Which is alarming because they're sentient in this world. Still can't open this, right? Nope, need the kitchen key. Which none of the people in the kitchen have? I swear I don't see it around here. Hmm. I would suspect perhaps that she might give you the kitchen key for story reasons at some point. That's probably reasonable. Let's get to the blacksmith, because, oh man, I'm, oh man, I'm so fast, oh my god. I'm like unbearably fast all of a sudden, by comparison. Uh, let's get to the blacksmith, see if I can get my armor to be not annoying. That'd be great, if we can make my armor not annoying. Uh, do I have a reason to go back up to Silas? I was going to check in on him with the guard, the guards I found. The, the guard's corpse. But I don't think that's really relevant. Let's see. Secrets of the signal guard. That's con that's just me confront. Oh, that's that's completed. Whoops. Yeah, that was me confronting him about the the pe the, uh, the 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 figurines. A lot of these are costume sets. I wish I could sort them a little better. Put all the costumes in a separate tab or something, just to s be able to find the other ones better. Hmm. I'll talk to the blacksmith first, but I should talk to Silas about the... about the master. Maybe he's the master, and maybe I should specifically not find the master, master because he's the master. Good thing he didn't look at me, because I was taking way too long to change items. Oh, that guy. Yeah, we've seen him before. Where was that last bug? I think I I think I heard it before. Making it all the more exasperating that I wasn't able to get it. Please. Please, Mr. Blacksmith, please fix my armor. Release me from this hell. Please. Click. Oh, that was weird. That was weird how I jumped back in. Need something, mouse. Smithy, I have orders for you from the commander. Is that right? You said you'd know what to do with them? I'd like to tell him what to do with them. Oh. He's fond of this. The blacksmith takes the papers, breaks the seal, and reads. Alright, so... I can either work on your armor or teach you about these spider traps. Your choice. Uh, definitely the armor. Uh, what can you do for my armor? Let's see. I can shave some of the parts down, rework the chest plate, make the whole thing lighter. Should let you walk more easily, might even let you run for a bit. If you need your armor though, you'll, I'll, let's say, oh, I'll need your armor for though for, let's say, six hours. Alright, here, take my armor. You strip off your armor and, and give it to the smithy. Six hours then, and not before. 
That's easy peasy. I can just go... I can just go sleep. Can I still talk to him? Back already. Was there something you wanted? I've heard talk of a band of smugglers led by the Master. We can't talk about this here. Meet me down on the shore after nightfall. And Mouse, until then, be careful who you talk to about this. Ooh. Anything I can help you with? I Actually, probably not actually. Nah. Not right now. What if he's the master? Cause he's got a pretty original, like, character design. Nope. Nope, just his hammer and tongs. Just searching around for keys, don't judge me. How do I run with a bottle in my hand? That's impressive. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's nighttime. Morning. I was supposed to meet after nightfall, but I can't go down to the shore yet. I have to deal with the spiders first. So I'm not going to find out the next chunk of his story until then. But hey, now it's the next day. Morning. Anything you need? How's the work on my armor coming along? All done. The smithy gathers up the various parts of the armor from around the forge and presents them to you. It's not perfect, but you'll notice the difference. I could probably do more given the time. Alright then. Was there anything else you wanted? I. Can I make it even better? No. I was hoping that I could make the armor even better. See, he said, he said given the time. I'm like, I'll give you the time. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't make- Oh no, it looks like the armor's still good. Look at that weapons and fire defense. I mean, it's not amazing. But this is faster, right? Yeah, I'm moving like at almost the speed of a normal RPG protagonist, aren't I? This is when I hit run. So I can't- I still can't run around on all fours. But I can at least do this much. I would say next goal is to go to Silas. See what he has to say about this update. Because if he's the master, maybe I shouldn't be finding the master. You have to equip it and unequip it. There we go. I get distracted having like the bottle sticking out. It occurs to me that they're like, yeah, it should hold your weight. Maybe. Hopefully. Ah. Uh. And then I'm like, I know, I'll jump in with full armor. That's a good test to do. What could go wrong? Howdy, Silas. All right there, mouse. No, 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 up to, nope, nope. He has like this weirdly cheery response of, I know, when you, when you say you haven't found everything yet. Absolutely no updated dialogue with him of any kind. Alright. Double, double, double. Get out of there. Oh, I'm adorable. Alright, recap. How do I get to thing a thing? How goes a mouse? Searching for the antidote. Do whatever it takes, mouse. Oh, you look not happy in that portrait. Oh, I watched you steal the scroll from Hiram down there. Let me see it. Let's pull the scroll of paper out of your pouch and show it to Silas. Hmm. The rings I don't recognize. But these two characters here, they look like coordinates. You'll need a map of the sewers. Forgive me, I have to go. Let's recap that real quick. A1, leak, marrow, turnip, the frog has the key. I have a map of the sewers. I have a map of the sewers. Are you saying that he's in the sewers? Let's recap the quest real quick. 
Before you head into the lower keep, you'll need to find an antidote for spider venom. Find the mysterious Faustus and ask for his help. Which is separate from- oh, the lower keep separate from the sewers. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a minute. Is the lower keep where the spiders are, not the sewers? Hmm. There's a bit to keep track of here. I'm trying to think of where I haven't gone yet. I mean, that spider looked dead. I took it as a warning because the spiders are supposed to be dangerous. I could always save first. Just save before going into the sewers and then whatever happens, happens. Hope for the best. Yeah, this is this is way faster than I used to be, right? Nope, nothing to steal. Just land. They all just have a lantern. Look at me go, just trudging along like a little badass. Hmm. How much you want to bet that opens? Eh, not worth it. I was thinking, I have a shortcut into there via the... I have a shortcut into the... into the jail via... the prison, but it's not actually a shortcut if I'm already here. It just takes me over there. I'm getting better at this, thinking about this place in a 3D space. It's a lot. It's a lot to try to keep track of at once. It's a hell of a world design. Ooh! I understand what I can do here. Yay! Puzzle. <laughs> I've remembered how to do a thing. Alright, so... He said that the thing looks like coordinates, and that I should go into the sewer. And I think that's enough for me to work with, where if I go into the sewers again, I think I can... Fi figure out... how to use the thing. Seems to be that you find Faustus by... rotating two rings in the sewers. Alright, this way's the sewer. The other... Right? Yeah, this- this way is the sewer, so the other way is probably the lower keep? I don't know, man. I'm trying to keep track of this shit. There's a- <laughs> There's a lot going on. I'm- it's, it's- 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 it's easier to keep track of the names of this place than- uh, the- the physical appearance and layout of this place than it is to keep track of, like, the names of this place. Let's see, there's no reason to be in co in costume right now. And I'm only putting myself in danger by being in it. So, back to this mode. Haha, -ha, jumpy jump. Aha. Where the heck is this? I'll probably run if I see a spider, but as long as I don't see a spider, we're good. So my whole fear was that they're supposed to have really bad venom, so I need to get an antidote. I thought those roots were a spider for a second there. You need the distillery key. Um... Water bad. Water not very deep, but water bad, I think. Boy, am I fairly certain I don't want that thing to catch me. Ugh. Ooh, good catch. Oh. Crap. Oh, you cannot run like that. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. That thing's really uncomfortable. It's like a fucked up leech. But it seems to have a stealth system, just like everything else. Ooh, 
poison, but also lever. Uh oh. Dying of poison. Shh. Quietly. Quietly. Woo! Very quietly. Gates open. How long is this lantern gonna last? Not any longer. It's about to run out right now. Great. Thanks, life. Thanks for your endless favors. Hey, Florence. Is it poop? Oh, there's so much Florence in the poop. Oh, so many poop Florence. Gross. Why am I here? Why did I come here? Is this the dead end? Is this all that's here? Really? Why did I even bother? What, really? Scouting around for maximum poison resistance on my inventory. This helm, this hood helps a little bit. What could go wrong, am I right? Oh, fuck. Alright. That's not the best news, as it turns out. Deuces. Jumping powers activate. Got that. Cool. Doo -doo -doo. They lost me. Jumping powers are so legit. All right. Ooh. That's probably it. So straight up and diagonal. Ooh. Would you look at me? I found the apothecary. He's just in the shitty poison zone full of shitty poison. I did it. Let's get in here. Before I piss him off or something. Candles. I don't need any more? Oh, right, because I used up all my oil. My candles are fine. Uh, when I introduce myself, I'll turn into a rat. Can't, can't reach that cupboard without a stool. This area goes for a while. The distillery key. Oh, is this the distillery key? Is this where I was a second ago? No, this is something else. But it's the same key, so it's probably similar location. At the very least... Poison was not very damaging. I guess the poison resist probably didn't hurt. Yeah, I had, almost, I had an almost full poison resist meter. Ooh, an apple. A fate card. I'm assuming those have a purpose at some point because I keep finding more. The rot cut. The rot gut's probably something you use to pay people off at some point. Ooh, oil. Ah, oh, look at him. He's got the plague doctor mask on. Neat. 
The question is, does he have a step stool? Can I pick up these boxes? I just want to get up there. I don't think I'm going to be so lucky. <laughs> nope, not reaching up there. You can't change clothes while you're near someone. That's still near someone? Yes, I am here on official business. Where have you been? I was expecting you hours ago. S sorry I'm late. I was beginning to think you, uh, the leeches had done... Uh, the leeches had done for you. Anyhow, you're here now. Scrawny, aren't you? Soft paws, weak arms. But you have a full set of limbs, I suppose you'll do. Let's get to work. I promised the master that this next batch would be ready in time for the wallowing. An annual ritual held in the forest when the rains have fallen in earnest and the ground is at its muddiest. For three days, creatures of all kinds and of questionable character come together to wallow, presumably. The exact nature of the events that take place at the wallowing remain a mystery. Indeed, no one can agree exactly what it is that the wallowing is meant to celebrate or commemorate. Some say it represents death and rebirth, or the opportunity to bask in one's misery. Others believe it to be a ritual of unity, in which all creatures are rendered anonymously and equal by the mud. What is certain is that fewer creatures than went in ever emerge from the wallowing. Oh. Oh. So people always die at the wallowing, apparently. And I, Faustus Rot, like to keep my word. I won't lay down, sir. We'll see. Now I have some matters to attend to elsewhere, so I'll need you to mind the still while I'm away. This is a critical stage in the process. If the pressure falls too low, the batch will be ruined. Any leaks in the pot or the pipe must be repaired immediately. Be warned, the vapors are extremely noxious, so work quickly. I'll only be gone a few moments, so I can't imagine you'll have time to get into too much trouble. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Back soon! Uh huh. Plug all the stills leaks. What the fuck? Uh. You can't change while you're near someone? Are those all leaks? I can't get up there. There we go. Leak, 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 leak. That's, uh, that's annoying. It blocks me saying I couldn't change clothes, so I couldn't climb up there, but, but there was no one here. What's this? The Pathocaris barges you aside and quickly sp uh, brings the still under control. The batch is almost ruined. Can I not trust you with even the simplest of tasks? I am surrounded by incompetence. How did you even... You were gone for a second. What the hell? Excuse me. There's a pop-up that was physically covering the game on my screen. I'm like, go away. I literally can't see the game right now. Sir, the jailer is dead. Murdered and tossed into a well. Just gonna side... Just gonna distract him from the problem. Murdered. No more than he deserved. Wow, everyone says that about the Jailer, huh? Uh, what else can I do for you, sir? I'll need you to gather some samples of my mycelium from this Death's Tongue Mushroom. Seven should do it. Mycelium? Yes, the branching network of hype that... Never mind, just bring me seven Death's Tongue Mushrooms. Death's Tongue Mushroom? The purple-capped mushrooms that grow out in the sewers. You'll have no doubt seen them on your way here. Death's Tongue Mushroom. Indigenous to the caverns and dark places that line the easternmost shore of the Lake Velia, Death's Tongue Mushroom is so named on account of its purple cap. Said to resemble the lolling, swollen tongue of the victims of its poison. Take this. Ooh, leather mask. So I can hide from the poison. Cool. You'll need it to protect you from the miasma. Miasma? Will you be repeating everything I say? The miasma, the noxious spores given out by the Death's Tongue's Mushroom. Now go. I have much to do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. 
I don't think he even cares that I'm not... I'm clearly not who he's, I'm supposed to be. Boop! Put the little boots on. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. He's great. Yeah. What in the world was that mission, though? He was gone for like a second. How is there even a... How does that scenario even exist? Ah, the mask fits you surprisingly well. It must have shrunk in the water. The water, sir? My former assistant was wearing it when he died. I probably laid submerged there in the sewer for weeks. Oh, oh gross. You're Faustus Rot. Ah, you've heard of me. Who hasn't heard of the great Faustus Rot? Well, it's gratifying to have one's work appreciated. 